Welcome back to the Frenzy for our next game. We head to Benton Central, the Bison taking on Twin Lakes. Tough first season for Ryan Smith, BC 3-7, and seven, but they have won two straight. The Bison shooting for a third win in a row this evening against the Indians. Ken Adams getting his players going with some direction before the half is over. Late second quarter, off the inbound pass, Owen Krause steals and Bryce Bennington for the layup, 21-12 Twin Lakes. Red and white again, Crowell lets it roll off of his fingers and into the basket. Indians still up. Now into the third, Twin Lakes dominating Blake Bennington, following in his brother's footsteps, two more Indian points. Benton Central finally getting into the game. Zach Fry hits a three from the corner, 29-22 red and white. Bison still at it. Morgan Knotts charging to the rim. Now just a five-point game. BC not done. Knotts with a two-hand layup. Ending on the floor, but don't worry, everyone. He's all right. Last play of the third, Bennington snaking his way down the court, ending with a jumper that helped his team to a victory over Benton Central. 48-35 the final. All righty, at Tri-County, Cavs head coach Tyler Shear leading his team on a cougar hunt as they coast Carroll. And it would start out well for the home team as Nate Patton rattles a three ball in from the corner. Tri-County jumped out to an early lead. Carroll ball now as they push it up the floor. Peyton Denny calling for it, gets it and buries it. Now that's shooting with confidence. Tri-County ball now as they work it around and inside to the big man Bryce Cook and his baby hook will fall. But the Cougars launching it up to Brant McLean, who drives, spins, and kisses it off the glass, making it look very easy. On the other end, Tri-County's Benny Patterson showing off his handles before hitting a fadeaway jumper from 15 feet out. The Cavs' Cougar hunt was very successful. They win it 81-40. to Over at Clinton Prairie, six minutes left in the game, and the Gophers are up by 14. Rossville down, but not out. On the inbound play, Jared Warren takes a shot from the top of the key. Drano. Next play, the Hornets stuff the Gophers. Blake Miller gets the loose ball and the floor opens. Goes for the slam, but slammed to the ground. He's okay, folks, don't worry. But the game was all Gophers tonight. Mitch Koptik drives in and almost loses the rock. There we go. He recovers and rolls in an easy two. From cross court, Jared Stillwell head fakes the defender and our cameraman. Passing it to Colin Strauss and Stroop, and Colin gets another quick layup. It was close for a minute, but Clinton Prairie sticks out a tough win at home. The Gophers win 74-65. Coach Jeff Henley will join us in the coach's corner. Further east, Clinton Prairie, or I should say, talk, speaking of Jeff Henley, his team playing right now. They're hosting Taylor Rostel getting hot first. Cole Braun post pivots and floats to in early. Braun again for Rostel. Charging in, posting, and laying in another easy floater for two. From here, it was the Keenan or show. Big night for Keenan. Will Schultz shakes the defense or from short, and will it drop? Yes, it will for the big guy. Jolin Harris with the wide open layup. Not Norris House, though. He lays it down. And the big moment for of the night, or dribbling down and checking up from the line. Nothing but net. And with that, he scores his 1,000th point tonight. Congrats to him. The Bulldogs played very well at home tonight, beating the Titans 63-56. To Chalmers we go, where Frontier is hosting Pioneer in an epic 1A battle. Frontier trailed late in this one, but trying to claw their way back to Zach Lloyd, gets the offensive rebound and steps into for a hard-fought bucket. Off the Frontier miss, the Panthers' Oliver Joyner throws it up to Trey Wadups for the layup, and that's what's up. Oh, good one, Paul. After the inbound, Frontier's Dane Chapman shows his touch with this baseline jumper late in the fourth quarter. But the Panthers showed their athleticism as Keith Knives knives his way to the rack for a deuce, Pioneer growing their lead. The Frontier struggles from the perimeter, continue, but 7'6", Seth Storming Normington rips down the board and puts it back up with authority, and he is pumped. However, the Panthers feast on the Falcons, winning 62-40. Well, all right, that does it for the highlight portion of the frenzy. Coming up, Clinton Prairie head coach Jeff Henley will join us in the coach's corner. The Gophers improved to 9-1 on the season. We'll break down their win over Russell right after the break.